All right, YouTube removed my other video, obviously, as some of you have probably found out already. It had some music, I think it was a Rihanna song in there that I had set up as one of the random play songs that probably triggered it. It wasn't playing for that long, so I didn't think it would care, but I was wrong. Anyway, here is the full control of our audio and our lights via the iPad using a Dell E6410 Hackintosh laptop. The reason I used the Hackintosh versus a Windows straight install is because Pure Data is kind of a pain to bind all the different little buttons. Oscillator was much neater. And the Hackintosh Mac install supports the Fireface device we're using for audio a lot better. This screen here, I'll try to add some kind of screenshot later, but it gives you full control over RGB from the Colorado 2s as well as the white LED. You can even control the auto buttons, the macro buttons, the chaser, chaser speed, strobe speed, pretty much anything that you could bind in the CompuLive software as a MIDI command you can bind to a button in Touch OSC. Right now I'm playing with the gobos you can see in the background on the back wall there. They have two different gobos that you can focus to the gobo 1 or gobo 2. You can rotate the one in the back like you see there, change the colors, I bound every single little color, even the color scroll wheel you can bind and change the speed of the color scroll. This is eight Colorado 2 lights and four Q-Spot LEDs. The Scorpion Storm RG lasers that we have aren't on yet. Those are probably the cheapest lights out of this bunch, but for the price range, they're pretty cool. They add a nice little effect with their little green and red dots on the back wall. That whole bottom row there with the sliders that are red and green control each laser independently, so you could do strobe with red while green is rotating um, it's kind of a neat little feature. I'll, you'll see here in a second when the lasers come on. The coolest thing about having this setup is being able to control everything in one nice little app. In the past I had been just all tabbing between different screens on a HP tablet and it works, but this is somehow just neater. Having nice little faders that you make custom for anything you want to do is kind of neat. Not to mention giving you the ability to turn up more than one fader at a time. With a tablet that we had, we could only do one thing at a time with a pen. This you can do as many, I guess, as you have fingers for, right? The kind of things I'd like to add in the future would be a couple of pages for EQ, maybe some way to control the effects for aux 1 and 2, which I have set up as reverb and delay. Being able to see the decibel level on the faders for the O1B would be kind of nice too. Right now I just have them matched up pretty close to what it looks like on the console itself and it works but it would be way cooler if uh, you could actually see the fader levels pop up and down within the fader. There's three pages total right now. Page 2 has some extra faders as well as a little crossfade thing I use for playing background music between sets or before the band comes out. You could get pretty fancy with that and add different genres of music or anything that you really wanted to do if you really liked to play around with your background music. You can also bind each one of those background music keys to a lighting button and have, a, have it trigger a scene whenever you change songs. Kind of neat. Other than that, I'm going to keep this one a lot shorter. It's kind of stale without music and having to listen to my voice, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any requests or any ideas, please feel free to send me a note, and thanks a lot.